hellos, Sissy here. Today we are doing an unboxing for Pie Box. I got this box in the mail around Thursday or Friday of last week. And I wanted to wait to do an unboxing when I had time to actually sit down and do all of it and dedicate time to it. Yeah. So, um, let's talk about all the fun things about Pie Box. I'm pretty sure there are lots of unboxings and reviews already up here for it, so I'm not going to go into details about the whole jit of what Pearl Box is. I will leave a link to her shop and her Instagram down in the description if you want to check them out for yourself and do research. And if you like this video, you can buy yourself one. So I ordered a custom pet box, which came with Uno Momento. I'm going to look up so I don't lie to y'all. It came with a custom collar, a custom bowl, a custom tag, a matching leash, some little pet toys, some candy, and some stickers, which I'm going to be happy about because I'm a stickaholic. Um, she has several different theme sets that you can choose from or a custom box that you can design yourself, which is what I did. I messaged the shop owner via Instagram, and I sent her a picture and said, can you make this? And she said, yeah, I can make it. I said, okay, well, I want a box. And we sat down, I told her everything I wanted, what I didn't want. I told her that I had really sensitive skin on my neck, so I needed, hey kitty, I needed something that wasn't going to irritate my skin and I could wear it for both a long period of time and daily if need be. And she suggested me get a fur lining. So that's what I'm hoping is on this collar. And um, what else? Oh yes, she contacted me and told me, hey, this is the ribbon that I have. Will this work for your collar? And I was honest. Because if I'm spending my money on something, I want to make sure I get exactly what I want. I said, no, that's not what I want. I want something that looks exactly like my sketch. And she said, okay, well, do you know who sells this or what brand they have? Or she asked me, she said, okay, if this is exactly what you want, let me, let me get it for you. So being a shop owner myself, I have a lot of experience with where to get ribbon from, who has good quality, who doesn't. As you can see, all of these boxes back here are full of ribbon. And so I sent her a link to where she can find the exact ribbon that I wanted. She was like, great, bada bing, bada boom. She got it for me. And she sent me pictures as she was making stuff, kept me in the loop about everything. And she was very communicative. She kept me up to date with everything so I knew exactly what I was getting. Yes. Um, so without further ado, let's go on in, open this up so I can talk about quality. I want this review slash unboxing to be kind of different than other ones that are up here because I know a lot of people who receive orders, whether it's from you know, a BDSM shop or from any shop for that matter. They kind of make everything out to be, oh, this is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. I love it. And then when you buy something and it turns out craptastic, you're like, but everyone said it was awesome. So I'm going to be giving my honest review full of sass and opinions. So let's get started. My box came in this why was I going to say wooden? Cardboard box. And she put stickers all over it. Let me not block it. Okay. Um, has stickers all over it. And she has her shop's name stamped onto it. Um, the shipping for this wasn't really that long. I actually forgot that I ordered it because my memory is that of a goldfish. And... But I didn't have to wait that long. I think I waited two 
two weeks or something like that for it. It wasn't outrageously long. And by the time, and that's including when she started working on it, I think, I think I waited a week after I ordered it for her to contact me and say, hey, I'm starting on your order. And then from there, I think it was like a week, week and a half, something like that for it to show up on my doorstep. Okay. So when, I already see something I like. So when you pop open this box, you get tissue paper and a letter and in here, Oh, okay, so it's a little, little hair bow. I'm not sure if this comes with all of the theme boxes or if I'm just super special and I got this. It is a little hair bow. This is the ribbon that I requested for my collar and my lead to be made out of. And it has a little alligator clasp. I love bows. As you can tell, I got bows in. I wear bows with everything. I don't think there's such thing as too much lace in too many bows. So this is going to be worn right now with my other ones. On the back of her letter, she has this little stamp that says, Made with love. I love little personal touches like this. Um... I know a lot of shops oh handwrite things or not handwrite them but almost like they're printed out before they send your stuff out. So it's a nice touch when they say, "Oh, thank you for your purchase. I hope you enjoy any everything. Let me know if there's anything I can do." But but it's very generic and all. I like personal touches. It makes me feel like I'm not just another order, but I'm an actual customer who you care about and that you want my return business. So the card has thank you, and I don't think it's going to pick up, but it looks like this was stamped on. If this was handwritten, you have impeccable penmanship. But she did draw on little whiskers and cat ears to match with her logo. Just gonna read this, make sure. Okay, so this is what I mean. She hand wrote this, and she, I'm not gonna read it because this is for me and not for you. But she she mentioned Pacifics about my order in it, so it makes me feel like she took time to actually know what she put in her box and who she was mailing this to. So, I don't know if you want me to say your name out loud, so I won't, but thank you, Blankety Blue. Okay, so now after you take off all of these, you have the tissue paper when it's glittery. Tissues, tissues, tissues. Tissues. Okay. Lay that down right there. After you take out all the tissue, you have your stuff. So I think I'm going to start with what I customized first and then the stuff that I had no say so in. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself here. Okay, the first thing is this little baggy, little organza bag. And inside, you have a little lollipop. Now, I will say this. I'm not a big candy-eating person, and I know you're probably looking at me and say, well, sissy, how'd you get that big? Because I'm full of awesomeness. That's why. So, I don't actually eat candy, so I'm sorry, but I'm probably going to end up either giving this to my sister or some neighborhood kid, or throwing it away. Because I just don't like candy. That's my fault. I probably should have told her that. I just don't eat candy. But it's a pretty, pretty lollipop. Got this little squishy ball. It reminds me of a jack. One of those um that you get like from a vending machine. That you 
Jax. Is that what they're called? Jax with the, the marbles? I mean, that's two different things. I don't know. But I love weird stuff like this. I have these little oddities all over my room collecting dust and my cat who's over here meowing. He'll chase it and play with it. Speaking of playing with stuff, this is a... Now, I have to ask her about this because I think I think this is hand. I think she made this. It's a little, it's a little mouse with, it's not cord. I can't, I'm having a brain fart about what this material is. But it's super silky and it's almost like twisted around itself. And it has little pink ears, not pink, what, where are my colors? Purple ears on it. And it's really cute. Like, I'm terrified of mice, too. Go figure. But this is actually really cute. And then, this is my custom tag that I requested. And it says, if you can see it. Focus. I don't know if it's picking up. But it says, little sissy kitten. My name is Sissy. I am a little and I am a kitten. So I get all of this in one. And I really like it. This is, um, this isn't laser on. It's actually engraved where you can actually feel, feel the indentions on it. I know some shops they do that. Well, when you run your fingers across it, it's flat. This is actually engraved, so I'm not worried about me wearing this every single day and part of the words are going to be chipping off. It feels like it's a really good material. It's a very thick metal, and it comes with a little jump ring and lobster claw, which I'm guessing will hook onto my collar. Um, it's written in script. All the words are spelled correctly because for some reason, people don't know how to spell sissy that I found. Okay, on to next is, I believe this is my, I'm going to wait and do that uh, second to last. Next is my custom bowl. And this is another thing. I asked her, well, you get to choose what is in, what was that? Ooh, puffball flying in the air. You get to choose what is put on your bowl. And I asked her, I said, I want the same thing that's on my my tag to be on my bowl. And she straight up said, we can't do that. You don't have room for it. So, shorten that down. Like, okay, that's fine. I'm really happy about this. I just love this font to start with. But this is a stainless steel or metal or stainless steel, I think it is. It's a bowl and it says sissy with a little paw print on it. Now, when, um, when I do get into pet space or little space, um... I do like to eat out of bowls. I do have, I don't have any in here. I do have two bowls already. One's pink and it has like fishes on it or something. But I like that this one's a lot bigger because when I eat, I'm hungry and I got to eat a lot. The only issue that I have with this is, I think it might be because it's off-centered a little bit, but... The I, S, S, Y are all on one level and the S is up a little bit. I don't know if, I'm not sure if that's just a slip up in the application. I'm not going to throw a hissy fit over it. I'm, I like little uneven things. I'm not anal about that. But if someone was... That might be a slip up for you. The S is a little off centered and it is up some, but who cares? It's gonna hold my food same way. 
This is really cute. I like this. I'm about to use this. I'm going to put all my stuff in it. Bam. Next is, I believe this is my collar. It is wrapped in tissue. It has the made with love, handmade, made by hand with love, with a little paw print and a bow on it. I'm just messing up this tissue paper. I am so sorry. You took all that time to wrap it so neatly and I just ruined it. Okay. This is my collar. I This is exactly the ribbon that I wanted when I have no idea what my picture is so I can't use references. But I wanted a ribbon just like this. Where it's rainbow, ombre-ish, and it is lined. I'm going to untie this. It came with a ribbon tie. And the inside of it has fur lining. It is bondage proof, tug proof, play proof, whatever y'all want to label it as. It does have the nylon webbing here on the back. I'm just examining it. So give me a minute. The pleats are... Very, very straight. I'll even say this. Some, these are on point. On fleek, on point. Pleats. They go all the way to the end. And I really like this about her collars. Where you don't see the webbing on the front. I know a lot of shops, they stop the ribbon here. And then you have like an inch of webbing right there. Just a personal preference. I hate that. I don't want to see the webbing. That's why webbing goes on the inside, against your neck, so you don't see it. And I know it's in the back, so you don't have eyes in the back of your head. You can't see it. But I just don't like that. I like that they go all the way to the end. Uh, she has sewn, sewn on this fur lining. And actually, it looks as though the whole entire webbing is covered in the fur lining which I really appreciate because, if you can't tell, I have a very fat neck. I have double chins and everything. So when I'm wearing this, I'm going to have my skin or my chins are going to be hanging over this. And sometimes nylon webbing can, if you, even if you get the high quality nylon webbing or especially the cheap kind, it's scratchy. And if you're wearing this and if you have sensitive skin like I do, it's going to rub up against you. You're going to break out. You're going to sweat. You're going to itch. It's not going to be a good story. So this is A plus, girly. A plus. Um, I do make collars myself in my shop. And I asked her to do this because I'm not perfect. And there's some things I don't do well. One of them being lining. So she has made several collars and... Let me stop. I don't know if she makes cuffs. I didn't look. I'm a horrible customer. But she makes several collars that have fur lining. So she's experienced with it. And also, I wanted some with these little sparkly bedazzle blues on it. And I'm not good at it. So I not only did I want to support another shop that I personally like but i wanted something that i couldn't make so that's why i asked another shop to make something for me and also i know how much time and effort goes into collars and quite frankly i didn't want to make it myself now to see if this fits because i know a lot of shops when they ask for the size some of them include the d-ring link some of them don't so here's the drum roll oh and this middle post right here um is i believe it's hammered in and so you can see it on the back but she which i appreciate again she left the fur a little long around here so you can actually cover it up mostly so it's not going to irritate me thank you okay this is 
my the only problem I have with this I need to hold on a second I believe I asked for, I did, I asked for a 17 and a half inch collar. This is just under 17 and a half. So I can, this is it with the D-rings touching. Um, I don't... This is a lot tighter than what I would like it to be. Now, it is not her fault because I said I needed a 17 and a half inch collar. But I should have told her that I need 17 and a half inches, not including the D-rings. So usually D-rings add on about, depending on what kind you get, anywhere from half an inch to an inch. Um, I should, that is my fault. I'm not blaming her because, again, being a shop owner, I should know this. This is too small for me. Um, I can get the rings to meet in the middle, but it is very tight and I already feel myself sweating because it's, it's very tight. Now, she did provide a ribbon to go with it, so I can wear it looser. To the point where it will fit. I'll show you what it looks like. And you know, I'm kicking myself right now because this is gorgeous. Like, it's it's beautiful. And she did a wonderful job on it. It's exactly how I drew it. She did the bows exactly how I wanted it. I requested a little... Sorry. Um... I requested a little a black heart, and she put it up there and everything. She made it, the color exactly the way I requested it, and exactly the way I wanted it. But, just going to tie this. So, this is it. This is how I would have liked it to fit. Um, There is probably about... There's probably about an inch gap right now between the D-rings and between the D-rings. So if you are going to purchase from her, um, just know that the whatever length that you give her for your collars, it is included in the D-rings. And if you are plus size or just to let you know, if you need that length to be 17 and a half or 12 and a half or 27 and a half. I don't care. You need to make sure that whatever size you give her, that is including the D rings. Um, yes. Um, I love the collar. It is made very well. I don't have any problems with it. Um, the stitching looks very nice. Um, especially on this middle ribbon here. She has the stitching right on the edge. I don't see any loose threads um on the bow she has cinched it so it's not going to fray um everything looks construction wise this is perfect um the only problem i have with it is that it is too small um but that is my fault that has nothing to do with her at all that's my fault my battery's about to die so we're gonna wrap this up real quick this is the matching lead that came with it. It has a little whatever this is called, toggle thing. Um, it's connected with a D-ring to the actual chain. Um, this chain is not welded or the D-ring is not welded shut. Um, of course, you're not going to be swinging your submissive around from the ceiling with this. So, it shouldn't be that big of a deal, but if you are a very ill-tempered submissive or a brat and you like to pull on stuff, I'm not sure how well this D-ring would hold up to it, 
but the handle is made in the same material, the same style pleats as the, the collar is. I have very large hands and this has plenty of room for me to wiggle, to jiggle in. But besides that, again, the stitching looks very nice, very pleated. Pleated well. The and it's a good length too. I like longer leads because it makes it gives the feel and the look of an actual lead, a functional one instead of just the pretty ones. So it's a very good length. The currently I am a stray, so I don't have a dominant that would be using this on me. So it's not a big deal for me. But if you are in a relationship and you do like to play rough and you are going to be using your leads, um, I mean, it's I'm pulling on it and it's not popping off. So I wouldn't be able to tell exactly how sturdy it is until I actually use it. But besides that, the lead handle... You got your nice little chains, all of this, and then it, it would clip on to the front of my collar, like so. And I do believe that is all of the items that I customized. Um, what's left in here? Got a nice little sheet of Hello Kitty stickers. I... I overload on my stickers, so these are just cute. And who doesn't like Hello Kitty? Who doesn't? Got little apples on it. Really cute. Speeding up because I don't want my phone to die. Here is a, another mouse. I, it squeaks. Okay, I'm easily, easily distracted. This is a, another little toy. It's a, a blue mouse with a little squeaker in its tail. I feel like my cat, Rhett, would steal this from me, so I'm going to have to keep this in my room. <laughs> and last, but not least, it's... What's the word for these? It's... It's basically a crinkle ball, something that you can bat around with. When I was in a relationship, I really enjoyed using these when I was in my pet headspace. I really enjoyed using these crinkle balls. These are super fun to play with. I haven't had one of these in probably like three years. I'm going to be playing with this. And that is it. Box is empty. So overall, I am very satisfied with the communication, the shipping, the packing, the quality of everything. The only flaws that I had was just the lettering on my bowl, the size of my collar. Again, that is not her fault. That is my fault for not specifying. And just be a little careful with the lead. I'm not sure how much tugging you can be doing on it. Again, you know, you're not going to be dragging your submissive through the streets or swinging them from the ceiling fan. I hope not because that is a choking hazard. Be safe when you play. Um, I will leave all of her information, her shop from on Etsy. And on Instagram, again, so you can check out everything. I would definitely order another per box. I think these are super cute. And for everything that you pay for, you get a good amount of stuff. And good quality stuff, too. I'd highly recommend this shop. Um, she's pretty well known, so I don't have to sit there and pimp her, pimp her store out. I'm sure everyone's heard about it. Um, I would give it uh, my overall, if I had to give it a uh, um, 10 point scale, I would give it an 8. That's what I'll get because nobody's perfect. Nobody's going to get a 10. Don't go around giving people 10s because nobody's perfect. Nobody. Um, so, 
The only thing that would make it 9 out of 10 is if my collar fit. But I'm not going to throw a hissy fit about that. I can put some ribbon on it and it'll work just fine because usually my hair is in the back. You won't even be able to tell it. So yes, that was my review for my her box. Um, like I said, I will be ordering from her again. Hopefully sooner than later. And I will make a note to add that extra inch and a half or however much I do need from her. So thank you very much. Like, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe because this is my first video. And I don't know if I'm going to be making more. But just please comment down below if you liked anything that you liked up here. Any questions or comments. And yes, thank you very much.